Now to graph some graphs, we can use a combination of vertical and horizontal shifting. If we can remember what each of those do. So can we obtain from the function x squared, can we obtain x plus one squared minus three in a relatively straightforward way? Well, sure, because we're able to recognize that there's two kind of shifts that are happening from the basic graph. So let's look at the basic graph. So the basic graph is x squared, if I kind of made it a little awkward there. So that's what the basic graph looks like. So what can we do to shift it? Well, the first thing we notice is that within the function that's tied to the x within the parentheses, it is being shifted by one. But which way is it being shifted? Do you remember what horizontal shifts do? They're the ones that were counterintuitive. So let's go ahead, draw our coordinate point, or coordinate point and let's take the graph and shift it every spot, one spot to the left. A little rounded out, maybe a little bit more. So notice that the entire graph was shifted to the left, which basically becomes, this was just some, maybe some other function, uh, g of x equals uh, x plus one squared. So I just did that in-between move. I shifted the graph to the left based on what I observed from there. Then from there, what do you want to do next? We look at the function, and now we see that there's a constant tagged on at the end. And that constant told us it's vertical shifting, up or down. So let's take our previous graph, which we shifted over to the left one unit. That was where the vertex was at, roughly. And now we're going to shift that vertex down three units. One, two, three. If you want to put a little grid marks to help a little bit. And then we take that basic graph. And now it's shifted down three units. So now this is my h of x, which we described as x plus one squared minus three. I love doing graphing through transformations. It's a lot more fun than plotting points and so forth. But it only works if we're able to identify some of the shifting features within a function. And with practice, you will be able to do that.